Hey, how you guys doing? Listen, I just got pumped up to have a little routine that I do. I'm one man, all right? And I'm out to uh, investigate. Hey, excuse me, how you guys doing? Hey, can I, can I ask you guys a question real quick? Yeah. I have a, uh, I have a YouTube channel. I have like a lot of viewers, you know? And um, I have a, uh, here, let me, is my, this okay if I record, guys? It's not, don't worry. No, I'm going to leave. Like, It'll be like five minutes, five like, minutes, no, is it? That's how I'm doing, that's, that's too much. Yeah, so, yeah. Well, it's, it, it's for school. It's really important that I do this. I know, can I just ask you one, one question? How about one question, one question? All right, all right. Anyways, guys, we are out. See, I'm one guy. I don't, have a, I don't have a posse with me. I'm one Italian kid with a lot of fucking balls. I'm out to investigate as to why um, millennials are having less sex than the generation that preceded them. So we're going to ask women. We're going to ask women these questions. we got to go find some, though. Thank you. Damn, them bitches look good. Hey, excuse me. Um, I'm doing a project for school. I'm, I'm a case student in anthropology. Do you mind if I like answer guys a couple of questions? It'll only take about five minutes. What? Or it was raining. Okay. Hey, you need to see your ID. That's the AZ right there. West Coast, baby. <laughs> All right, here we go. All right, let's do this. You guys got to grow some balls if you want to be an entrepreneur or if you want to get laid. It doesn't fucking matter. I'm going to try to find some good looking ones for you guys so you guys can see some eye candy. This is Cleveland, man. There's not a lot of good-looking women out here. Your... Yeah, right. so, yeah. No, no, yeah, yeah. I know, like, I've had like a little bit to drink, 
but this is something that I've thought about a lot. Okay, cool, cool. That, um, We're interviewing the right person here. Think, think about like when the Industrial Revolution happened, right? Okay. Like a hundred years ago. Think about like when smartphones came about. Um, it's not as important to us to like carry on lineage. It's so much more important for us to like form a connection. And so it's not so much like feeling good um, from a physical standpoint as it is like or if somebody understands and, and accepts me. Okay. And that's like kind of the millennial generation and I feel like it's such a deviation from my parents. And they like, they really don't understand that. They really don't understand that for us it's about this connection that we have with people more than it is like, all right, my lineage is being carried on. Okay, okay. And that's, and that's honestly kind of what I boil it down to. But do you think like, so, so you're saying like the whole one night stand thing? It's like it does, like people aren't like satisfied with that. No, well, I mean, it's just tough because I think it's an individualistic question. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All I can do is speak about myself. Personally. Sure, absolutely, like, absolutely. It's a physical thing, and humans are physical creatures. Sometimes you have physical needs. Right, right, right. I can get them fulfilled, and like boom, done. Is a very separate thing, I think, and like our generation is one of the first ones to feel this. Is that there's a separation between sexuality and like I want you to raise my kids. Do you think that's like a cultural thing? Because like, for instance, like in the wet, like you know, a lot of people tend to sleep around, like in the bigger cities, like New York, LA, San Diego. You know, like this is the Midwest, um, so it's kind of like people are like most people here are from here. They're not like, you don't I have people I wish I could say no. I wish I could say that that's a universal thing, but I think within more traditional settings, it makes more sense to have a more traditional family. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But then in more progressive settings, people are more open to like ideas of different ideas of what a family or even a nuclear family is. Right. And what about people that don't want families that are just like, I just want to. I just want to have all the sex I can, enjoy myself. You know, I'm young. I'm doing my thing. Whatever. Like, think, like, like, where does that mentality like? How does that? How does someone who has that mentality like maneuver in a society where like it's? What's it's, your favorite it's, color? I like. I'm a. I'm a, I'm a Raider. I'm. I'm a West Coast boy. Silver and black. Yeah. Yankees, color, color, color. All right, um, I'll say bl black. I like black. black. I'm a Great. black. Cool. I like blue. I'm not going to sit here and judge you because you like black. You're not going to be my friend because I like blue. And that's sort of how I use sexuality. You don't get to choose like what color you like. You didn't wake up one day and was like, oh, black. I didn't wake up and say, oh, blue. Okay. I mean, it just sort of like fell upon us. Alright, so, so so it's an individualistic thing. Alright, well cool. Thank you so much for your time. I appreciate it. Alright, whatever the fuck that was, but alright. Our goal is just to keep interviewing. I'm sorry, I was trying to find a better looking girl, but what are you gonna do? This is the Midwest. This ain't LA. It's not plentiful, beautiful, sexy, sharp women. It's alright though. This is your boy Fernando, the Do AKA Doberman philosopher. We're gonna have to go to more clubs because this is a. Uh... Oh, here's some honeys right here. Okay, here we go. Here we go. <laughs> oh, I bet I maybe they're not. Hey, excuse me. Can you guys help me out with a school project that I'm doing? What's up? So, um, oh, so we have to cool. answer questions. Hurry I know you're social Hurry studies. Up. It's cool. It, this is anthropology. So great. It's a statistical fact that millennials are having less sex than the generation that preceded them, like our parents' generation. So not true. Yeah, it's statistically proven. Okay. This isn't me. This is like what I started. Okay, come on, hurry up. So <laughs> why do you, why do you guys think that people are having less sex than the generation before? STD. Social media. So you think social media is decreasing sexual desire or what? Yeah, because they'll like creep on a guy and they don't even know him. They're like, oh, he liked a girl's picture. I'm not gonna fuck him. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So. Sure. So, 
You think you think guys could have a better chance of getting laid if they don't like other girls' pictures? Oh, absolutely. 100%. So, okay. So Unfortunately. You, <laughs> so you just want a guy to that's like your pictures? That's not us. That's not. Like, I don't give a fuck what a guy does, but that's a lot of girls. Okay, so you think if a guy just likes, like, for instance, like, look, let's say a dude who's in you, and he's liking your photos, he's telling you how fine you are. You girls are beautiful. Thank you. By the way, that's just a fact, but <laughs> just, it's just like what I'm saying. So you think that that's how a guy can increase his eyes and get I laid? Do. Okay. All right, thank you. <laughs> balls, New York Italian balls, right here. <laughs> Let's get some sisters here. Hey, how you guys doing tonight? You guys look beautiful, by the way. Hey, do you think you guys could help me out? I'm doing a project here. Um, you know, it's a statistical fact that uh, millennials, like our generation, is having far less sex than the uh, generations that preceded us. Do, do you guys have any idea why that may be? Or everybody's gross. Everybody's gross. So, like, how, what, what do you mean by everybody's gross? <laughs> all, uh, you think all dudes are dogs? No, I don't think all dudes are dogs, but I just feel like, you know, maybe people don't keep up with their health as much as they're supposed to. And okay. we're in a very health conscious uh, generation oh, right now. Oh, absolutely. Like, I think that's a great Do you think that's a good thing or a bad I think it's a great thing. I think it's a good thing. So, you, so, you, so you're saying that, like, for like for like dudes and and ladies like we really need to like take care of ourselves better so we can present you know a healthy vibrant you know Absolutely. well put together sharp individual like <laughs> kind of like, like yours truly so what, what what advice would you give to to the fellas out there that are trying to you know be uh be well liked by the ladies Health and well-being. You hear that, guys? Health and well-being. Okay. All right. Well, thank you so much. This is what I do. I ask the people. You could. You could. You could ask. Your college professors, they won't know shit because they're not on the street asking the people. You gotta ask the people. You gotta go right to the motherfucking source. That's what we're doing out here. Oh shit. I'm on these guys' side. <laughs> Come grab him, go! Come grab him, fucking faggot! Fuck, back the fuck up, bitches! Come back the fuck up! Woo! Back the fuck up! Woo, shit! Y'all see this? Back up! Back the fuck up! Back up! These are some fucking foul ass white boys right here. Hey, excuse me. Yeah. You guys mind if I ask you guys some questions? I'm doing a school project here. I feel like you need to get like legal consent for this. Not really. It's not gonna go on the internet. But all right. Never know what you're gonna find. You never know. Oh my lord. Going here. Hey, Z, baby. Uh, for you right now. Uh, uh, is it okay if I show the balcony or out there? You just have to pay six to get in. Alright. Hell no. I've already paid for parking. Shit. Alright, we're still gonna go out here. Man on the street. No, I'm, an, I'm a graduate student at Case Western Reserve for Anthropology. Oh, I'm a research. Oh, you're alright. 
So listen, um, here. Here's my here's my here's my question. It, it, I'm not I'm not putting on the internet. Don't worry. <laughs> yeah, but you're filming. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, it's the school project. So listen, um, you know it's a statistical fact that millennials, our generation, is having far less sex than the generation before us. I'm trying to figure out. I'm trying. Well, it's, it, I'm trying to figure out why you guys think that is. So wait, what what, what would it say? I'm from the younger generation, I'm from 95, so. You are born in 95? Yeah, All right, so did you know that they said that millennials that are born in the 90s are even less, are, are having twice as little as sex as the generation before us? 